A Providence school placed on lockdown today. Dozens of police officers responding. This was all caused by someone entering a back door of the school. 12 News reporter Anita Buffoni was first to arrive on the scene alongside a group of worried parents who were trying to get some answers. She joins us now from Providence with what happened today. Anita. Well, Mike, the Providence Career and Technical Academy here was placed on lockdown after police say a student left a back door to get something to eat, returned to the door they popped open, causing an almost two hour long ordeal. Students and parents embracing outside the Providence Career and Technical Academy reunited after a school lockdown happening on the fourth day of the school year. School administration speaking to parents after police deemed the school safe. Okay. Appreciate you. Appreciate the patience. Police say a student left a back door propped open to go get some food nearby. When re entering the door, someone alerted school administration, prompting a lockdown. Providence Police Major David LePayton says about 30 officers responded. We have to use these precautions and we, we just won't take chances with the schools. Some parents decided to pick up their kids early before the end of school at 225. A nerve wracking moment for students inside. The teachers, yeah, they, they walked us through it okay. They made sure nothing happened to us and stuff. Neighboring Central High School was placed on alert as a precaution. We were in a secure building status because of the situation outside of our building. The Providence School Superintendent was on scene. He says they are in the process of putting alarms on all doors district wide that would notify staff if one was left open. That's something we'll, I would love to see in every building, but we're doing the pilot to see how it works, and this is a prime example of why we need something like it's this. It's not yet in this building. No, not yet. Now, there was not a school wide early dismissal, but some parents did decide to come here and pick their students up, as I mentioned. But the other schools did remain in session. The superintendent would not say if the student that caused this ordeal will face any disciplinary actions. For now, live in Providence, I'm Anita Buffoni, 12 News.